keep in mind when you're doing this job after you're done, you're going to want to go to a local garage and have the vehicle aligned so you don't have premature tire wear. I'm going to take the wheel off, use a 17 millimeter socket, take these lug studs off, go to take the last one off because they're lug studs, the wheel's just going to fall. So I'm going to hold the wheel on, take that stud off, and then grab the wheel, take it off. Now let's just take this bracket right here, just slide that out of the way, and then take the brake hose, and just slide it out. All right, I'm gonna take this nut off. Before that, I just wanna put a little rust penetrant on it. Just make it come off a little easier. And I'm gonna use a 16 millimeter socket. Take the nut off. And the stud is actually spinning. So what I'm gonna do is take some locking pliers and just grab the stud from the backside. All right, now I was able to get the nut off. And just slide this out of the way. Take the locking pliers off. Now I'm gonna disconnect this ABS wire from the retainer right there. And on the back side, just slide it out. Then remove this wire right there from the bracket. That's for the brake pad sensor wire. Now I wanna take this bolt off in that nut. I'm going to use a 16 millimeter wrench on the back side right here and an 18 millimeter socket to take the nut off. To help loosen this bolt up, I'm just going to use a 16 millimeter socket. Pull it out. Just loosened it up a little bit. I can just work it out. I lowered the vehicle down. I'm just putting a floor jack underneath the control arm in case the swing of the control arm goes too far. Now I want to separate the knuckle from the strut. I'm just going to use a punch and a hammer and tap it down. I'm just going to use a little rust penetrant on this. Let it soak for a little bit. So keep in mind, you don't want this jack stand resting on the control arm or the control arm resting on the jack stand while you're trying to remove the knuckle from the strut. Um, so just have it so there is a gap there. There we go. And now the knuckle is separated. And actually there's a little bit of spring to the lower control arms, so you don't necessarily need that um, jack stand, but just for safety, it's a good idea to have it there. And then you want to keep in mind, don't put too much tension on this brake hose. You don't want that too tight. So if you have to, you can use some, some bungee cords or something to keep this knuckle from coming out too far. I'm just going to use a strap right here. So it's just going to keep the tension off the brake hose. It should be good. And be careful of the CV joint. You don't want that to pop out either. There we go. Now I'm going to remove these three nuts. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket. Now before I go to remove the last one, I'm going to actually grab the strut assembly my other hand, take this nut off. Just grab the strut assembly. Ah. There's actually a little pin right there that was stuck. So. so I need to compress this spring. So I'm using a spring compressor. And now it's in there properly. I'm gonna compress the spring. Now 
Now the spring's compressed. Now I want to take this cap off right here, set that aside. Now I need to take the nut off the shaft of the strut. I'm going to use a 21 millimeter socket. And what I need to do is I need to keep the shaft from spinning. So I'm actually going to use some locking pliers underneath here. Um, the best way to do this, they make special sockets that you can put on the nut and then you can go through it and use an Allen or a hex bit to um, keep the shaft from spinning and loosen it up. But I don't have one of those, so I'm going to do it this way. All right, so I'm going to use a straight blade screwdriver underneath here, push down on the insulator where the uh, bumper boot. Slide that down. Now I'm just going to grab the top of the strut so it's never ever going to hit the seal of the strut if you are reusing the strut. Just use the locking pliers way up high. There we go. I could slide the strut mount off, take the nut off, and take the mount, slide that in position. Get it started. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the locking pliers. Just make sure they're up high. Then it's never going to touch the seal at the base of the strut. Now I'm going to tighten this up by hand. All right, once it's snug, then I'm going to torque it to 47 foot pounds. Good. Now I can remove the locking pliers, push the bumper back up in position. That's good. Put this cap on and release the tension on the spring compressor. Make sure everything's lined up. And remove it from the spring compressor. When you're lining the strut up in the knuckle, these two little tabs are gonna line up with that groove. So you wanna make sure those are lined up. Now we're gonna slide the top in first. Make sure you line that tab up with the hole up top. Just line it up like that. Get one of the nuts started. Now these holes are slotted. You want to try to get it as close to where they were before as possible. They do that for an alignment. You are going to have to have the vehicle aligned after you do this job. So we're going to leave those loose for now. I'll just take this tie down strap out of the way. Make sure you have this wire go this way and just slide the knuckle in position. careful again with that CV joint. So using a floor jack, put it underneath the knuckle or the lower control arm, then you can push up on the knuckle while you have everything lined up properly. You can see the strut is all the way down when you look at underneath the knuckle and see that it's bottomed out right there. There's a little ledge right there. So double check that. And where the gap is, if you're struggling to get the strut in, and if you're struggling to get the new strut in, where that gap is right there, you can put a pry bar and try to pry it apart a little bit to uh, help assist getting that in. Now I'll take that bolt, slide that through, put the nut on, hold the bolt with my wrench, I'll tighten this, tighten this nut up. Now I'm going to tighten this nut to 74 foot-pounds. I'm going to tighten these up. Then tighten these down to 25 foot-pounds. Now I'm clear to drop the floor jack. Take the wire for the brake pad sensor. Slide that into that bracket, and then the ABS sensor or wheel speed sensor goes in the top one. 
push that on and then we'll slide this one over here as well now I'm gonna slide the sway bar link in position if you need to just use a pry bar and just pry down on the sway bar itself get it so it's lined up and take the nut get the nut started and then on the back side use an 18 millimeter wrench and the stud is slotted so this will keep the stud from spinning and I'll just snug this up first and then torque this nut to 48 foot-pounds. Take the brake hose and this rubber grommet. You wanna slide that slot through this bracket, just like that. And then take this clip. It's gonna go on the back side, like that. And just clip on the front. Take the wheel, put the wheel back on. Get the lug nut, lug stud. Now I'm just gonna torque these lug bolts to 110 foot-pounds. I'm gonna do it in a star pattern so that it tightens the wheel down evenly. And just go around again, double check. 